Taipei City increased the property tax on second homes last year from the standard 1.2 percent to a maximum of 3.6 percent to keep speculators from hoarding property. On Thursday, however, the higher tax was rolled back to 2 percent on certain properties the new administration felt were not being hoarded, including some housing units still in the hands of developers. A former Taipei official felt the revision was a step in the wrong direction. Developers in Taipei breathed a sigh of relief when the Taipei government announced Thursday that it was lowering the property tax, known as the house tax. If I have a small general store and I have soft drinks in stock that I still haven't sold, I don't have to pay a tax on them. At present, developers have to pay property tax on units they have not sold. They are breathing a sigh of relief with the new measure, especially now when there aren't any buyers. To put a lid on rising home prices, the finance ministry decided last year to increase the house tax to 3.6 percent on second homes not lived in by their owners, but left it up to local governments to impose the tax. Taipei went along, and former Deputy Mayor Zhang Jinghe thinks the new administration is now making a mistake. Nobody wants to accumulate houses. Most people hope to sell quickly. Investors also want to sell. Why should developers be treated differently? We don't think that houses can be sold in a day or two after they've been built. So we decided that new houses not sold in their first year should be treated as excess inventory. If a new unit is not sold in a year, then I think it's hoarding. The finance ministry said it supported Taipei's revision to not charge the higher tax rate on properties considered as not being hoarded by their owners.